Welcome to Pond Advanced Questions for, for CAT 2025 or in general, any kind of CAT by AMP. My name is Abhishek Pande. In short, it's AMP. The first question says the farmer has three different size bags for his harvest, holding five, six, and seven kilograms respectively each day. He harvests total of uh, n kilograms of produce. All right. <coughs> Where n is a positive integer, that means natural number. After filling as many bags as possible, he counts the remaining kilograms in each bag. He calls the day's harvest unique with the remainder in each of the three bags. It should be remainder from each of the three bags. Is a different number. The farmer wants to know how many unique harvests are possible for a of harvest of up to 420 kilograms. Alright. So, uh, as you see here, this is the holding capacity of bags, which means if I you know try to first of all, let's 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 see something. Um, if I divide something, by, let's say let's say the number is n. If I divide n by five, what all remainders can I get? I can get zero, one, two, three, or four. Because <coughs> remainder is always less than divisor, right? Okay. But remainder is zero, that means it's completely divisible. Similarly, n mod six will be zero, one, two, three, four, and five. And n mod 7 would be equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we have 5 possible remainders over here, 6 possible remainders over here, and 7 possible remainders over here. That's great. It also says that these the remainders when we or the remainders that we get by dividing from 5, 6, and 7 are unique or are distinct. Which means n mod 5 should be not be equal to n mod 6 should not be equal to n mod 7. Cool. Perfect. So, uh, how many how many um, remainders are not common? That's what we need to see. So, if n mod 5 is not equal to n mod 6, that means, that means, for 5, if I have all these 5 remainders, now, whatever remainders has been, whatever remainder has been selected here, would not be selected here. So, here we have 6 possibilities. So if I have chosen one from here in five different ways, I would have to choose six minus one from here in again five different ways. And similarly, similarly, if I talk about this one, here we have seven possibilities. So if I choose one from here, one from here, which are distinct, so here out of these seven, only five will be remaining because two are common. So five into five into five will be 125 such numbers. But till where? LCM of five, six, and seven is, 210. So till 1 to 210, we will get this 125 times because at 210, 210 is divisible by both all 5, 6, and 7. So that is where this pattern would start repeating. So we have overall 420 kilograms. All right. And 210 is the LCM. So 420 is basically 2 times 210. So the pattern should repeat twice. In one repetition, it's 125. In two repetitions, must be 2 into 125. That is 215. Let's go with that. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed the solution. It's a, I know it's a difficult question. And tell me in the comments how many were correct. Second question. A team of five employees at a small company is planning their workload for the portal. There are five main projects that need to be completed. To ensure a balanced workload, the manager decides on two rules. First, each employee must be assigned to exactly two different projects. And second, each project must have exactly two employees assigned to it. The manager needs to know how many different ways the project assignments can be made. You know what, when I chose this question and talked to my um, mathematician, statistician, statistician and logician friends, because I, I am a practicing mathematician and I have a lot of friends like that who do the similar kind of things. So, some were able to solve, some said it's very difficult problem. Especially the people who were into, you know, software architecture, uh, people who are great in data science but no mathematics as well, they could have, they were able to solve it. The people who are in the ambit of CAT, you know, and, and uh, great in mathematics, they felt this question is very difficult. They solved it after a time, after some time. They also said that this question is irrelevant to CAP. It's very difficult. It's, you know, a high level of algebra. Well, so that a term that they use is called, is, is, is known as bipartite graph. Now, the problem is bipartite graphs 
should not even be mentioned in CAT. I mentioned it and now I'm saying that I should not mention it. So, can I do this just by simple permutations, combinations, some kind of combinatorics, some kind of algebra? Let's see. So, I will have, uh, I'll make two sets here. Set number one, set number two, in which here I have the employees represented by capital A, B, C, D, E and projects by small a, b, c, d, e. All right, here we have employees. And here we have uh, the projects. Each project should be connected to two employees and each employee should be connected to two projects. How can I do that? There are multiple ways. But the first way that comes to my mind, which might have come to your mind as well, is a goes to a and then this goes here, here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, E is left alone. Let's go back to A. So now you see what happened. This is a kind of relation in which, you know, without lifting pen. So you must have done in, as, as kids, draw this figure without lifting your pen. It's, it's a kind of same, you know. So where we start and where we end are the same points. That is the only way I can, you know, <clears throat> assign two projects to one, one, one employee and two employees to one project. Okay. Here, overall 10 lines have been drawn. 10 lines have been drawn, which can be, you know, kind of uh, broken down as five, five. All five employees, all five projects. Can I do this in some other way? That's what I thought. So, I tried to make it this way. Okay, uh, let's have the same thing. enjoy this you know I just love this question somehow employee and projects so earlier I did five five now I want to eat two eight two so first four here first four here one two three four five six seven eight done ah the problem is the employee the, in the e employee employee e and project small e cannot be assigned to uh, two different projects or two different employees respectively. So this, this doesn't conform to the set rules. That means A2 is not possible. It's an invalid case. So obviously, what should come next? Which case should come next? Should be 6, 4, 6, 4, 6 and 4. So first 6, like 3 from both, uh, both the sets. So now if I draw it, Let's say, let us see if I'm possible if it's possible to draw. A A B B. One, two, three, four, five, six lines. Oh, cool. And here, one, two, three, four. That's a valid case. I'm so happy about this. Now, <clears throat> five, five is possible. Eight, two was impossible. Six, four is possible. If I go further with four, six, but four, six is the repetition of six, four case. You no need to write that. Then 2, 8, again, definition of 8, 2 is invalid. That's all. Two cases are there. So in these two cases, now these are two cases, but the answer is not two. This can happen in many ways. This can also happen in many ways. So either, either 5 and 5 or 6 and 4 is going to be your answer. So let's calculate these cases one by one and then add them both. Either or. I'll just write or in between here. This and this, or this and this. Okay. So five and five. How would I do that? Now, let's say uh, from the perspective of an an employee, one employee, he can select five different projects in five ways. Now, the perspective shifts towards the project. Now, one project has been chosen. Okay. Now, this project which has been chosen can be assigned to four different people in four different ways. Nice. Now, now, <laughs> now the focus shifted towards the employee. Now, employee here can select four different projects. I'll repeat. First employee can select one project in five different ways. Now, project has been selected. Now, now, now that project, that project can select four employees. One employee in four different ways. When that one employee is selected, that employee can choose one project from remaining four projects. Once that project is chosen from the point of view of the project, this project can choose three diff one employee from three different ways into three. Coming to employee's perspective. From employee's perspective, uh, two projects have already been chosen. Now he can choose the remaining. 
project one person from the meaning three in three different ways. Let's go. The point of project. Go there. We do. We do. We do. Two. We do one. Done. These are the number of ways in which this can be done. But 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 you know what? I started from employee. What if I started from project? So basically, I have pointed things twice. So let's divide this by two. Well, so what do I get? Five into so if you if you see something, if you can see this, this five into four into three into two into one is factorial five, and four four into three into two into one is factorial four. I could have multiplied this, but I wanted to show you the pattern. This factorial five into factorial four, and and, and, and you know. The same pattern, I will try to do it over there. That's what I want to do. So if you select that, if you, if you calculate this, what do you get? 120, 24, it will be 1440 ways for the first arrangement. Coming to that one. Such a beautiful way. Now, here, there are five things. I took five, five here, there, again. I am taking, you know, uh, three things first. Three things first. So I need to, I don't know but what those three things are. I need to select three out of five things first of all. In five C three ways. Five C three ways from employees and five C three ways from projects. This is going to happen. All right. After that, once I have selected three from here, three from here, I need to arrange them as well. Them as well. And how am I going to do that? Multiply by. Let's see. What is what is what is the most appropriate possibility here? <clears throat> so, um, if you look at this, now you can, you know, look at the pattern. 3, that means factorial 3 into factorial 2 upon 2 should be coming over. The same, similar fashion. Factorial 3 into factorial 2 upon 2. So, we can have done this also, but now, because you understood and understood this, that the same fashion, I can do this. Now, 2 and factorial 2 get cancelled out. 5C3 is 10 into 10 into 6 is 600 ways. 600 here. 1440 there, if you add them up, I get 2040. Zero, zero. This is a kind of question which you know comes once in a blue moon to me, and I just love sharing it with you guys. Tell me in the comments how many of you were able to solve, and those who could not solve, how many of you were able to understand this solution. Obviously, you might need three to four rewatchings, but then also tell me, did you enjoy this? Did you feel mathematically enlightened? Now, coming to the next question. Because there are three questions here. Professor Anya, a renowned mathematician, was demonstrating fascinating algebraic property to her class. She wrote the expression square root of ABCD on the whiteboard where ABCD represented a four digit number with A not equal to zero, obviously. If it's a four digit number, A cannot be zero. And ABCD is not A into B into C into D. It's the four digits of a four digit number. Leo moved to the digit, Leo invited a student. So, student is Leo. Leo moved the digit to A from inside the square root to the outside. Okay. This way. Creating the new expression as this. this. These two expressions were equal. Oh, that is fascinating. The class's challenge was to find the only possible four-digit number. A, B, C, that is by this condition. People, if you have solved this, you might be, you know, thinking about that B, C, D, the three digit number should be a perfect square, and so is ABCD. This is not always possible or, or necessary. It can be an irrational number also. It can be perfect. It can also be that this is not a perfect square. We'll get an irrational number, just like root two. That's also a possibility. So how do that? Would I just you know go by brute force and try to plug in values for ABCD? That is going to be very tedious, boring, and mathematically devastating and depressing. So let me do something else. Uh, all right. What if, what if, what if, what if I, I represent this four digit number as 1000 times A, where A is the first digit, plus X, where X is the three digit number? All right. I just, you know, reduce the variables. Square root of this should be equal to A root of X. Well, because this is A multiplied by this. Now squaring both sides, I'll get 1000 A plus X is equal to A square X. Oh, nice. Now, now, 
I can also write that x is equal to what kind of I will try to represent x in terms of a or x in terms of okay whatever so let's let's do this let's set x over there I'll have x common times a squared minus 1 is equal to 1000 a which means the value of x is 1000 a upon a squared minus 1 so why represent x in terms of a because a is a unit digit number single digit number not equal to 0 so a can be anything from 1 to 9 all right so if I start taking a as 1 2 3 I have to see in which case 1000 times a is completely divisible by a square minus 1 that's what I need to check okay let's do that so at a is equal to 1 1000 upon 0 ah not possible see the original 0 is not defined if I take 2 2000 upon 3 not divisible if I take a as 3 3000 upon 8 that's divisible here at a equal to 3 I get 3000 upon 3 square minus 1 is 8 8 3s are 24 8 7s are 56 8 5s are 40 so x is 375 3 digit number is 375 and a is 3 so 3375 is that number wow such a beautiful question you want to verify it <laughs> okay I'll just show it to you. 3375. What's the square root? 3375 is exactly 15 cube. So this is 15 into 15 into 15. Out of these two, one return count can come out. I'm left with 15. Alright. Root 15. Does that look like one? Not really. So what exactly happened over here? This is not the case. No problem. What can come out now? I need 375 inside somehow. Okay, so let me break this as 15 as 3 into 5 into 15 into 15. Would that make sense? Would that make sense? Mm, not making any sense. I need 3 outside. Okay, I'm just very fine. Let me break this as 3 into 5 into 3 into 5 into 15. What happens now? I can take 3 outside, just one 3 outside, inside I'll be having 5 into 5 into 15 and this guy is 375 only. So, it has been verified as well. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want more such questions, just give me. And you know what, you need to watch this from beginning to the end. Share this, subscribe to the channel. I don't like saying it, but you know what, you share with the friends. Sharing is caring. The people who are preparing for any kind of entrance exams, you should be sharing with them. By the way, our BBC practice batch has launched and I want and the final batch has also been launched. See you in the process. Thank you.